hand, hand, hold. Welcome back. We're gonna start this, uh, skinning out this black duck we got today. Fresh as can be. Got a pair of them. Pretty beautiful. But we're gonna start with the head. Usually that's the way to go. So we're gonna free up the skin around the beak. And then we're gonna start with the body. Stay tuned. to be super careful around the eyes once you peel back the skin because they have that second lid in there and if you cut too close you end up cutting around one of the most sensitive parts around the eyes and it can really ruin a mount i've learned the hard way so take your time when you get to the eyeballs and um obviously cut below the flesh and not where the flesh is because it can surprise you that it's pulled back and you think it's the right spot but it is not so it's just a little tip there to separate the feathers with a little bit of water uh use your finger to peel you know get the down and the feather so you don't cut any feathers when you're doing the middle uh chest incision which usually should be right along the um that middle bone where you breast them out Take note to where I'm cutting here. The eyes are the most sensitive spot, so. You take a razor blade and cut um, right above the top um, knuckle for the foot. And then you will make sure that it can be placed right back in the incision when you reattach the feet.
Now here we flushed out the birds completely. I use a little Dawn soup and um, get all the fat off. Um, usually we do use the razor blade or you can use a flushing wheel, but I usually run into some problems with the flushing wheel. So we uh, score in between each quill and basically use the borax as we go to get all that grease and fat out of the inside of the fur or should I say feathers um I always wash at least four times but um be careful because it gets a little bit weak so I like to blow dry it really well after the gas bath and obviously be super careful because it's flammable so let the vapors all come out and um if you're working on it the next day you can just put it in the refrigerator um that usually enables you to get a couple more hours before it you know gets all hard on you the other trick is to put a little bit of wet paper towels inside the head after you've skinned it out so that the eyes and the around the beak doesn't get all dried out because it can happen really quick and if you don't rehydrate it or wash it again it's hard to work with so that was just my reference photo of the beak i painted the beak and the feet and blow dry blow dry blow dry make sure you do not have any fat or oils in the feathers or you will pay when you are done so there's a lot of things to learn i'm no expert at it i just have done probably a dozen birds in my life and i enjoy doing it i love the way they look when they come out so obviously the flushing part is pretty gruesome and so i have my measurements over there um next neck was 10 inches on both uh, the middle of the body was 11, so I'm going to shave down somewhere at, uh, or no, the, for the other one was 10, so I got to shave down about an inch, but, uh, don't make, don't make this mistake. I have done it before and you're in the middle of mounting the bird and it won't, the, the belly won't sew up correctly. So it's 11 mid, um. We're gonna take it down to mid 10, and then butt is a uh, eight. So I usually do the butt around around that. So that's my number one tip about doing it. It's nine, so we're gonna shave down to eight and to nine. So we need about an inch shaving down. Let's just use the, a razor blade, a tough razor blade. It's not gonna do it. All the fat off and turning the wings inside out getting all the marrow out of every bone with the drill and then uh, we're gonna wash it wash it wash it but just so that you know whatever you are taking out you are putting back in and you don't want too much because you will not be able to sew it back up correctly and it will split and you will have an ugly looking line right down the chest so always measure 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 the neck Eye up the heads, take note to how long the feet should be coming out. Many different things to pay attention to, but obviously whatever you take out, you put back in. So once you uh, slide your mannequin into the neck and uh, have your pretty much set up, you want to use your hot glue gun to adhere the head to the bird. Using a little spray bottle will dry the hot glue in order to sculpt it um that's a tip that um i wish i knew also because your hot glue will drip all over everything if you do not give it a little bit of um a squirt so keep that in mind here the the um mounting wire and the feet too are sturdy and um you want to fabricate your wire through the mannequin so that when there's pressure on the bird it does not go all the way through the mannequin 
So basically I put a right angle in it so that it is very sturdy. When pulling the skin up around the head, I like to start with the bottom of the, the chin area and make sure that you use your uh, forceps to make sure the skin isn't folding under in. Um, it can take a little time to work it up, but um, that's something I learned. Here I found a little bit of, tiny bit of um, something stuck in the fur and the feathers and um, I make sure that I get it out with the tweezers. So now we're um, gluing around the, the beak with the Zappa Gap, making sure that the eyes are in place and if you have to use um, needles to hold it from drying and sucking into the wrong area, so. Caulk can be your, your best friend. It also can really screw amount up. If you do not understand how much caulk is coming out of the gun, or the gun is um, continually shooting caulk out when you pull from the mannequin and around the uh, crop or the tail area, you can really get it all in the feathers and ruin them out that way. Um, also, when you do it, pull the the um, feathers and the skin up and kind of stick it to it so that when you're doing your sewing you don't get your needle all through the caulk. Using metal pins and needles to hold the um, wings down and the eyelids in place so that you don't have any um, moving and shrinkage when it dries. Todd in the mess. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any comments, questions, let me know. I'll answer them. Thanks for watching.